Hello guys, Josh from Standard Films and I'm here today with a kind of, not quite a tutorial, but just a kind of walkthrough of one of my most recent projects, which was my Dread 3D movie poster. And I had a lot of people ask me, oh, how did you make it and stuff. Um, unfortunately, I can't actually go back and show you the whole making of it, I didn't record it at the time, but what I can do is go through layer by layer and show you how it all builds up to create the final piece. So the first thing is, I've got a black background, which is a kind of movie-sized poster thing. I think it is about... Um, 2000 down by about 1300 across or something along them lines. Filled the background with black and the first thing I added was this sky which is kind of a murky, dark night, stormy, cloudy type thing. Next I got some images of Johannesburg um, which is where Dread 3D was shot in part and I made them into a cityscape, put some motion blur on them and if you can see as well just up here I cut some bits of the building out just to make it look like it's kind of all decaying a little bit as well. Um, color kind of adjusted the colors on that so it matched the sky and then added the next layer of cities which is another one of Johannesburg. Um, all kind of low rise buildings and things like that, apartments. A um, little bit transparent just to kind of blend in and again just color them to match everything else and then put some shadowing around the bottom like that. Next thing I added was an overlay to the city, which was just a concrete texture, um, which basically just made it a bit more grimy looking and stuff like that. Another one just for the lower layers. Um, I overlaid it again with a kind of brushed metal texture, again just making it look a bit more grimy as it is a very kind of gritty film. Then I added some flames over here to make it look like the city was on fire. Um, added a glow to those flames. Some smoke and flames off the taller building up here. And some more smoke off the other one. Put a glow on the one up here, just just you know, just to blur it out a little bit. Um, then I added some shadows over this building, which was what will be the shadows from my text that I'm going to add in shortly. Um, kind of reinforce those shadows with another layer. Added some particles down the bottom, some blue particles that you can get from Google. A couple more particles, and then I put in my picture of dread, which I cut out using the quick mask tool. Um, coloured that all down nice and dark saturation um, and sharpened up things like his mouth and his helmet. Um, then I saturated his badge a little bit more, I just duplicated the layer, painted some yellow over the top and then set it to an overlay. Um, then I saturated the helmet and the badge just a little bit more just to bring out those reds and golds. Um, added, added some particles around his gun which will be firing over this side. Some more particles around the bottom, a bit of smoke, a bit more smoke. And there's the first kind of hint of text. I kind of put a blurred kind of background to them. Another one. Then I put a, um, a background flare, which would be underneath the text um, when it comes in. Added some lightning up the top here. Um, then I added in the big flare from his gun, which is just one I found on Google. Again, just moved it off to the side and go went to image adjustments, photo filter, which is just there. And you can change it to whatever color you want. Um, added a little glint in his visor, which you can see just there from the flare, just to make it look a bit more realistic. Um, then I added just another flare on top, just giving it a bit more kind of depth and stuff like that. Added some more lightning over in the background up there, and then I took another flare I found on Google again, and just added some glows up to the top, just to give the sky a bit more, um, you know, brightness and a bit more, make it a bit more dynamic. Um, added some shadowing underneath the text, or where the text will be, and another glow, which is some scribbles on for some reason. Then I added the first 3D text, which was done just by typing the text and going up to 3D Repose, and you can do that in there. Move it around a bit, set, offset it. Added another layer just to kind of really darken the uh, 3D edges, and then added a flare on top. Um, Add a concrete overlay, the same one I used for the city, onto the text to make it look a bit more grimy. Um, a metal overlay, which is the brush metal one, and then some shadowing around the bottom just to get, um, you know, darken it down again. Some general shadowing around the bottom and the top of the image, and that was it. And that's the final product. So I hope that was helpful and you enjoyed watching that. I'll be doing a lot more of these movie posts. It's something I do in my spare time a lot. So um, if you're really interested, I might even do a tutorial on how to do an entire movie poster in the future. So see you soon.